Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, just go ahead and keep watching. I had every intention of doing a very neutral look today. I am using the Glam Light X Michaela palette. Uh, since this is an older palette, I didn't know if I was going to do a dedicated video on it. I just wanted to try it out and get a feel for the formula. I had every intention of using these two neutral rows, but I saw all these delicious purples and like, how could I not? I know I just did a purple look pretty similar to this one and I wore this exact hoodie like three weeks ago, but like, I couldn't resist the purple. Look at this palette. Like, it just needed to be purple. But if you were curious about what I'm wearing, that is it. I did not film it, but I could do like a get ready with me or something with this palette if that's something you're interested in. So jumping into what I got for Christmas, I'm going to start with the makeup slash beauty items because I can only assume that is the main reason you are on my channel. And I have to start with this beauty right here. My sister is insane she bought me a Pat McGrath mothership palette I still can't get over that but this is the bronze seduction mothership palette the whole experience of it is very bougie it's heavy it's freaking gold and shiny it's amazing I did do a get ready with me using this palette that will probably be up after this one if it is already up, I will link it here. If not, stay tuned. That'll probably be coming in a few days. So here's what this one looks like. One of my shadows is kind of lifted out of the palette and it actually cracked a little bit, which kind of sucks. But let me tell you, these special shades in the corner, there is a reason they're called special shades. So I love this thing already. I may have been converted into a Pat McGrath Mothership Palette Believer. It is a beautiful palette. Can I just say how much it bothers me when I see someone with Pat McGrath palettes and they have taken them out of this cardboard component? Like, this is an experience. Like, I will never get rid of this cardboard box for this palette. And along with the palette, she also got me a lip gloss. This is the Lust Gloss in the shade Bronze Divinity. I also use this in that video. This is a very pretty sparkly pink color. Very nice. I enjoy this one as well. I have a huge pile of stuff in front of me. Listen, don't judge me. Me and my family go all out for Christmas. So if this seems excessive, it is. But, you know, we give what we can. So I also did get a Melt Mystery Box. I did ask for this one. I was going to save it to do like an unboxing video, but like, how could I not open it right then and there at Christmas? Because like, nobody knew what I got. My sister didn't even know what she got me. So I am going to go over everything that is in the box. So this is kind of like a mini unboxing of the Melt Mystery Box. I'm sure you've probably seen a million of these at this point. There's a ton of stuff in here. This is the larger of the two boxes. I will say, however, I happened to be on Sephora the other day, and some of this stuff is on sale at Sephora, so... Could it be just like, let's get rid of some stuff that's not selling? Yeah. But I don't have anything from Melt, so I thought this was a great way to try out the brand. I know I wouldn't be getting any repeat products, and I got a little bit of everything. So starting out, I did get the Millennial Pinks palette. I didn't watch anybody's unboxing video, just in case I got one, I didn't want to spoil it. But from everybody's thumbnail, I'm pretty sure we all got the Millennial Pinks. I don't think a lot of people loved this palette, but I think it's really pretty. I haven't swatched this at all yet. So these are just some light swatches. I don't want to start swatching everything, but like... So I only did some light swatches of a couple of the shimmers, but from the swatches, the shimmers do seem to be a little more tightly pressed. So I'm interested to try this out. I don't know if I will do a dedicated video, but I might do like a get ready with me. I'm trying to do more of those on my channel this year. So I'm actually happy with this. I'm not disappointed, even though I know it's not a lot of people's favorite palettes. And I was kind of hoping for the Gemini, but that's like a top seller. So I figured they wouldn't put that in a mystery box, but not mad at that one. 
I got a very pink themed box, let's just say that. So I did get one of their sex foil liquid highlighters and the side of the box says everything is better wet. Wow melt. So I got the shade Fetish, it is the pink one. I have not swatched this, ooh, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I haven't swatched this yet either. I was gonna make a very dirty joke. This is a family channel. I have to admit, I didn't hear the greatest things about these either. But, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this myself. That actually looks really, really pretty. It looks very nice and metallic on my hand. I don't own very many pink highlighters at all, so although gold is definitely more my color, I am kind of excited that I got a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't normally use. So I also got their Digital Dust Highlighter in the shade Pink Moon. I am really excited about this one. I've always been interested in these highlighters. And this is what this one looks like. The embossing on this pan is absolutely stunning. And I haven't swatched this one either. I don't even want to touch it. That's how beautiful this is. I don't want to ruin it. Ooh. Oh, that is very pretty. Again, you probably can't see that. But that is just a very pretty kind of pink with a peachy gold shift. That's gorgeous. And again, I don't own a lot of pink highlighters, so... Happy to get products I wouldn't have bought myself. I also got one of their blush lights, and mine is in the shade Shadow Clay, I believe. So this looks very white in the pan. I did already swatch this one because I couldn't help myself, but this looks like one of those very icy with a colored shift kind of highlighter. That is very, very white with like an icy blue shift. So. Definitely not something I have in my collection. Probably not my everyday, but it does look very pretty. And I got one of their cream blush lights, and this one is in the shade of Golden Hour. This I have already used. I am not a huge fan of blush, but this is like my perfect blush shade. For someone that does not wear blush a lot, if I had to pick one shade, it's gonna be a peachy tone blush, and it does have some shimmer to it. It's not completely matte. I really like this. I wore it the other day, and it's really nice. So if I'm going to get a blush, I'm glad that I got a shade that I will actually reach for a lot. So I am so excited that I got one of their gel liners. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this formula. These are very highly raved about. I got mine in the shade Cultura. I'm pretty sure this came with the, the collection that had the two skull palettes, the Vida and Muerte palette. I don't remember. Not 100% sure, but... This is like a camel brown color. Not a color I would have probably picked out myself. Definitely not a liner color I've ever used, but I am so excited to try this out. I really, really wanted one of their liners. Not my first choice of color, but definitely excited to try this out. And then I got a bunch of lip products. I got two of their all day, every day lip liners. And I got mine in the shades Scandal and Cinder, so I got a kind of orange tone red and a nudie pink. I'm happy about these. This is like one of my go-to lip liner colors, and I have been enjoying a red lip more lately, so interested to try these out as well. I also got the Perfectionist Lip Precision Pencil, and this is in the shade Caffeine. So this is a brown. I have actually been reaching for a brown lip lately. I don't know who this girl is and where she came from, but okay, I'll take it. And I got one of their Cat Suit Ultra Matte Lipsticks. This is like a mini. I am not a huge fan of a matte lip, but I have no problem throwing a gloss over it. And this is in the shade... Oh, this is the shade Cat Suit. So this is a matte lip in the shade Cat Suit. First of all, this component, I like it. And this is also a brown shade, so they both go together very well. Look at how beautiful that lipstick is. Love that. I'm going to feel bad using this one as well. 
but overall pretty excited with all the things I got in terms of getting a wide range of products to try out I think they did a really good job of including a ton of different things in here so I'm excited I will probably try some of these out in a video don't know if I'll do a dedicated video to it but definitely looking forward to trying out all of these products I also got a couple of my NYX Lift and Snatch brow pens. I asked for these because they were on sale on Black Friday and I don't want to be without these because these have become like my go-to brow product. So got two of these and ordered two that got lost in the mail. Still waiting on those. But I also got a Veramona color switch. I just used this today. <sighs> Boy, I'm never going to wash my brushes. This is so bad, but it's so good. This works so nice at getting the color off your brushes. Like, everyone raves about this thing for a reason. I mean, it's really just a sponge and a tin, but, like, it works so well. So, this is going to come in hella handy. Really happy I got this. I also got two of the X Mondo Super Gloss Hair Healing Color. It's not actually color, it just says that on the container. This is a clear, like, deep conditioner. It smells nice. So there is no color to this. This is like a hair treatment. I saw his video using this on a couple different people, and he was talking about all the benefits, and he got me. I am so curious if this is actually going to make a difference in my hair. My ex Mondo videos do exceptionally well on my channel. I have two of them and one of them is rounding the corner of 10,000 views. We're almost there so definitely gonna make a video on a before and after trying this out on my hair because A I'm curious and B I think it's gonna do really well so stay tuned for that if you're just as curious about this one as I am. And I think I only have one more beauty item left, and I did get a Brazilian Crush perfume. This is like my all-time favorite smell, this one and the Shadaza 71. They're very close, like one and two. This is the original Brazilian Crush. I love this thing. I am so glad I got a backup because I have been like savoring the one I have open because I don't want to use it all. But now I have a backup, so it definitely can just spray my heart out with the one I have. So love this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. You will smell delicious. So I did get a couple of books and I did ask for these. And when I say I asked for these, I don't mean like I've been asking my family for stuff left and right. We would rather get each other stuff that we want so we have like a group text and we will send links and pictures of stuff we're interested in and then you could just buy or not buy whatever we send it's not like i give them a list and say like these are my requirements for christmas no we just want to get each other stuff that we're actually going to use and want so i did request these as gifts and these are the convoluted universe books i have book one and book two and these are by dolores cannon i am a little more than halfway through book one these are a very niche kind of book if you are not into like the metaphysical and the spiritual these are not going to be for you i am very much into like metaphysical meets science so these are books by a past life regression therapist and these are pretty much transcripts of her different sessions with people who during their hypnotic state they are able to connect with other civilizations. Uh, this is going to sound so crazy if you're not into this I'm going to sound like a complete lunatic right now but um, yeah, it's a lot of information that she has collected over many, many years of past life regressions pertaining to other civilizations on other planets and mysteries of the universe and humans' hidden abilities. A lot of stuff. So I am loving this book. I am reading through this one pretty quick. There are more books to this series. Last time I saw her YouTube video, she said she was working on three and she had enough information for book four. So she also said the books are getting bigger as she writes them, so loving these definitely uh, for a certain kind of reader. So again, if you are interested in like the metaphysical, these are great reads so far. Should we just get the raid done out of the way? Let's just 
Let's just talk about what I added to my Raydon collection. So two of these I actually bought for myself, so they're not technically Christmas gifts, but like, I gifted them to myself. So if you don't know, Ray Dunn mugs are incredibly difficult to find. There are collectors and resellers that will clear the shelves the second they see a mug that they think is a little unique. So the ones I bought for myself were kind of just like consolation prizes. There were some I really wanted that I saw on Instagram, but I didn't think I was going to be able to find them. So I did just get a plain red that says naughty and nice. This came with like a little chocolate gift set or something. This is pretty basic, but I didn't think I was going to find anything else, and I like this one, so I just wanted something at Christmassy. And then I found this one, the hot cocoa mug that has the little lid. This does come off, but it's attached with a plastic. I don't even like hot cocoa. I don't like hot cocoa. I've had one hot cocoa in probably like the last 10 years of my life. And I only drank it because it was like midnight and I really wanted coffee, but like probably shouldn't have coffee at midnight so I did get this one I think it's absolutely adorable even though I don't like hot cocoa it's just cute whatever let me live so then my sister got me and my fiance a little box with some coffee and some mugs and actually got some of these little reusable k-cups uh, we don't use k-cups anymore in this house Ever since I got one of these last year we just buy coffee grounds and fill them up in this little plastic reusable one I'm not gonna open it but ours is actually ripped that's how much we use it and I told my sister I need more I need these because these are a lifesaver they are better for the environment you're not throwing out a plastic k-cup every time you use it yes they are recyclable but you have to like cut it open and wash the coffee grounds out which is a pain in the ass so we just use these and they have been life-changing I'm pretty sure that regular standard K-Cups are filled with enough coffee to make like an 8 ounce coffee cup. I don't drink 8 ounces of coffee. No one does. That's a tiny amount. So when you use these, you can actually fill them up with more grounds and make your coffee stronger. I don't think I can go back to K-Cups if I tried. There is just no comparison. Your coffee ends up so much stronger and richer because you're able to put more grounds in these. So. Definitely will recommend. I'm not sure where she bought this one in particular, but I will link these down below because if you're a coffee lover, you need this. And she got us these two little mugs. This one says Game On. My fiance is a huge soccer or a football fan, so he got a little Game On mug. And she got me the navy blue Gemini mug. It has the letters in gold and the constellation on the back. I have this one in black and gold. I bought them for almost everyone last year for Christmas. And I saw the blue one at Home Goods and I had it in my hand and I'm like, I don't need another Gemini mug. I don't need another Gemini mug. But the navy blue with the gold is so beautiful. And she got it for me. So it doesn't count if I didn't buy it myself, right? <sighs> My heart just fell out of my ass. I thought I just broke my Radon mug. Okay. Let me carefully try to show you the ones my fiance got me without giving myself a heart attack. So there are tons of Instagram pages for like Radon hunters and they show these beautiful mugs and then they show their carts full of them as they have cleared the shelf to resell them for 10 times the price which is very unfair but I had shown my fiance one of them and told him I absolutely loved it and my life would be complete if I had this mug and he found one for me so this is my new prized possession <laughs> this one says snow day and I don't know how well you can tell but it is iridescent I think you can see it a lot right there and it has a little snowflake cover to like keep your coffee hot or keep your cats out of it. It is so pretty. I'm such a simple girl. Like this makes me so happy. It doesn't even make sense. And it's all iridescent and it's gorgeous and it has a snowflake. You cannot pick two things that I love more than snowflakes and iridescence. The only thing that could make it better is if it had glitter. But that's probably not safe for drinking. Not that I'm ever, ever going to put a drink in this, because if I broke it, I'd be devastated. But 
I'm in love. This is so beautiful. I'm going to display this all year long. If you saw any of my like decorate with me videos, I have two shelves in my dining room over my Keurig like coffee station. I'm going to have to make room and move some of my mug collection out of the way because this is going to be out all year long. And to go with it, you got me the little canister. It's so pretty. <laughs> I listen. I'm a fiend, I know. It's beautiful, it's iridescent, it's got a snowflake on it. That's, what more can I ask for? What more can I ask for? And this one says Winter Wonderland on it in case it's a little hard to see. They're beautiful. Oh my god, it almost slipped out of my hand. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put it down, but they're beautiful. So sticking with snowflakes, if you saw my Decorate With Me video, you know that the last thing on earth that I needed is more snowflake candle holders. But here we are. My sister got me this really pretty set of snowflake candle holders. These are going to be really, really gorgeous with a lit candle in them. I'm sure they're going to show the reflection coming out the holes in the front. These are beautiful. They will definitely be put out next year. So this next one, I have been eyeballing at Bath & Body Works for years. I don't know if it's been the same one, but they have a similar one for like the last two, three years. And it was really expensive, so I could never get myself to spend the money on it. <laughs> but my mommy got it for me. Um, just switch. And you could just have it on and spinning without the music. I don't know if you could really see the snowflake in there. And it also projects light out the top. I don't think there's any way for me to show you, but it has like lights projecting on the ceiling. Listen, I'm a very simple girl. Listen, snowflakes, that's all I need in my life to be happy. And she also got me a candle to put on top. This one is mm, laundry day. I love the smell of clean laundry. And this candle is just beautiful too. It looks like a cable knit sweater with like a wood grain top. Beautiful! How beautiful is that? Let me not drop that either. So sticking with home fragrance, I got a ton of wallflower refills. I also asked for these. I have one of these things in like almost every single room in my house. And you know what? They don't smell all that much. Literally, you might smell it a day or two after you put in a fresh refill, but like... They really don't do all that much. There are a few scents that I have found that last a little longer. I think the stronger ones, like uh, I've got cinnamon caramel swirl here, a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. These really, really sweet ones tend to smell pretty good. I think sugared snickerdoodle might also be a really strong one. Some of these don't have the tags on them. I think my sister said one of them spilled open and ruined some of the tags. I've got another laundry day. None of the rest of these have names on them. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us when I plug them in and smell them for two days. And you know, I actually just saw a TikTok about how harmful the chemicals in these are. And they like vaporize them over your entire home into the air that you breathe. So yay for me. And my mother also got me this beautiful wax melt warmer. I don't know how well you can see it in the box, but it's this really pretty like patterned blue glass. This is gorgeous. And I actually don't have a wax warmer at all. So really excited to put this out. She also got me some little wax refills, but I didn't bring those in here. I'm excited to set this out somewhere and see how well this works because I love, love a good smelling home. I love it, especially when you have six cats. So my sister got me some of these cups. These are from the brand Dragon Glassware. She sent me like a link to their Instagram or something or their website. And they looked absolutely amazing. And she got me a little set of two. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be very hard for me to show you how absolutely beautiful this cup is. It is very iridescent. I think it's picking up a little bit, but it is kind of shaped like a diamond, so it will sit on a table on its side. That's stunning. Like, this just makes me feel wealthy. Not even rich, like wealthy. 
I'm richer than rich. Like, I feel very fancy with this cup in my hand. I haven't actually put it down on a table, though. It works. It stays upright. These are so beautiful, though. Absolutely gorgeous. My fiance also got me a preserved rose. It's in like a little glass teardrop. We saw these at the grocery store and I mentioned how pretty they were. So when he ran out on like the day before Christmas Eve, he grabbed one for me. So, you know, just a little some extra. And I think last up for the items that I have here physically to show you, I did get a Swarovski Crystal Snowflake. Listen. This was a gift from my niece and my nephew. It is incredible. I am a sucker for sparkly things, let me tell you. I have a couple Swarovski pieces. I can't walk past that store in the mall and like think straight. I do have a couple Swarovski pieces. You can't see but i have a little swarovski butterfly back there i have like a swarovski pen i think i have a bracelet or something i'm a sucker for sparkly things this is so so beautiful i love this i have to figure out where i'm gonna put it because this is gonna be another thing that's gonna stay out all year long and last up i have two items that i'm not going to show you physically but i'm just gonna pop some pictures in my fiance got me this incredible tripod that i've been using to film it is fancy, it's got moving parts, it's a lot. I'm still trying to figure out how to angle it and how to turn it. There's so many knobs and moving parts. It's a lot, it took me a minute to figure out how to set it up to where I needed it to be. My old setup was literally the box that my KitchenAid mixer came in that I bought maybe six, seven, eight years ago. I had the box for my KitchenAid mixer and then a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked up. There was like a BoxyCharm box, a ColourPop box, and that's what I put my camera on. When I did my overhead videos, I would balance the weight of my camera because I would set the tripod like this. And I would weigh this down with like Goya lentils and listen, it was a hot damn mess. So he bought me this amazing tripod. He is definitely my number one supporter when it comes to doing YouTube and like buying me all the equipment that I have. I would not have any of this stuff if it wasn't for him. So definitely love this thing. Gonna take some getting used to, but it freed up so much space in here and now that I don't have a stack of boxes and I'm loving it so far. And last up, I got this little house for my stray kitties outside. I am very much a crazy cat lady. I have fed so many stray cats. I have so many cats that come into my yard. I have a little plate of food that I keep out on my covered front steps and I just buy a big bag of like cheap cat food and I keep it filled up pretty much every day. And I have a bunch of kitties that come and go, but once it gets cold, I get so, so sad that I can't bring them in the house. Like I said, I already have six. Now I have a black cat that I call Binks, and he is a sweetheart, but he has his little bits of aggression. He has scratched me like twice. He sits on the railing on my porch and just waits for me. I'm gonna put a picture, I got a picture of him on my railing, but I feed him all the time. I don't wanna risk bringing him in the house, but I feel so bad that he's out there in the cold. So I got him a little house. I got the Casa Catnip. I built it and I put it out in my front yard. I have seen plenty of like dirty little footprints inside of it. So I know that at least some cat or raccoon, I think it's a cat, at least a cat has been interested in it and gone inside. So if I can't bring them in the house, at least I can kind of give them some shelter. I hope. I hope they're using it to stay warm. So that is what I got for Christmas. I know it is a lot. Please don't judge me. We buy what we are able to buy. No one is going out of their way for what they can't afford. We just love to spoil each other and a lot of times it's a lot of little stuff. But that was just a quick little video. I know I'm hella late. It's January 11th right now. But you know, another thing I got for Christmas? COVID. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit behind. I didn't film for a couple weeks. I took a bit of a longer break than I was anticipating, but I am back to making videos and I thought this would be a quick fun one. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you would consider liking, subscribing, and coming back for some more content. Bye.